What's up guys? Today I wanted to show you if you download a VST and it's not showing up in your DAW, such as uh, the one I downloaded, which is BIOS FX2. Now, if I right click here, insert new virtual instruments, and I click on my VST, uh, Power Grid BIOS FX2 doesn't show up. Now, uh, if I click Amplitude, it Amplitude 3, it shows up interface comes up now if I click add you can basically search through all of this and you're not going to find it so in this case what you need to do is you're gonna come over here to program files and uh, I'm running Windows 8.1 and there's a couple places here that this could be. Now you could see here's uh, BIOS FX2 application. That's the standalone. Now if we scroll down here there is VST plugins and then you can see my Amplitude 3 and then in this program or in this folder VST plugins you can see uh, positive grid is in there but you're looking for the DLL so you double click that and there it is. So what you want to do is left click on it and then right click on it and copy that. You're going to back out and I already have uh, another part here. Your programs x86 is 32-bit. Now you come down here and you'll see another VST plugins folder there's nothing in there well I know in my Steinberg there's also my other DAW which is Cubase Lite there's another VST plugins and there's a bunch of uh, plugins which is also the 32-bit version of Amplitude 3 so in here what we're gonna do is just right click paste and then you're gonna click continue and now BIOS FX2 64-bit uh, DLL is in there. So we're going to close out Reaper. Actually, I don't think you even need to do that. So we're going to click on Virtual Instruments. And then we're just going to click on uh, VST Amplitude 3. Wait for the interface to uh, pop up. And we're going to click on Add, and then we're going to click on FX, and then Scan for New Plugins. Now, if you see that new right there, that showed up. So, now we're seeing the VST Bias FX2 Positive Grid. Now we can click OK, and now our interface pops up with Bias FX2. So we're good to go and you can remove that track and then you can insert your virtual instrument, come up to new and then you then your interface uh, will will pop up in a second and now you're all set to use that plugin. Now if you close that out you can hear it's actually working now so we're just gonna mute that but if you want that interface to come back up you would simply click the FX button and you're back into BIOS FX2 so you could do this with other plugins it's not just with BIOS FX2 it's with any VST plugin that you might be having a problem showing up in your DAW